What's going on everyone in YouTube world? It's Courtney Biker, I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are not in Tennessee. We are not going through the Tale of the Dragon. We are not heading around Virginia or, or touring the Smoky Mountains or tasting any of the... We are not gonna be up in the Rocky Mountains or Smoky Mountains. We are not gonna be tasting any of that moonshine or trying all of the local barbecue cuisines. We are not doing anything like that. We've had to get a refund on our cabins that we were going to be renting out. We are not going to be doing any zip linings. We are not going on vacation. And why is that, Dawn? Because our um, our friends that are going to go with us, um, one of our friends, Melissa, has broken her leg. She went out the day before we were supposed to leave and she was going to get her hair cut and her truck had a flat so she decided i'm just going to ride my motorcycle which is all fine and dandy but when she got to the place where she was going to get her hair hair cut the road has a slight bow to it for you know rainwater and she realized i can't park my motorcycle on this because it'll it won't lean so she was going to do a u-turn in the road and park on the that side of the road only facing the wrong direction. And when she started to do her U-turn on that slight bow of a road, she get it too hot, too tight, and the bike tipped on her and onto the left side and she didn't move her foot out of the way when it started to fall because she was trying to keep it up and it fell on her and broke her leg about two inches above her ankle. And that was two days before we were gonna take off so here's what happened so we paid like a 565 dollars to airbnb for like one of the cabins so of course melissa is on the phone to them the, like that very afternoon that very evening and saying we need to cancel this because i'm not going to be able to go and so i got a refund and what did i get out of that 560 dollars 141. yep however good news though melissa did talk to the owner explain the situation and asked for at least a little bit more of the refund. And the lady was super kind and super understanding and said that as soon as that money gets deposited into her account, she will refund the whole thing directly to Melissa so she can give us back that money. The other places that we rented, because we were supposed to stay at a four nights at this hotel or at this Airbnb, and then two nights at another one. Apparently there's a five day cancellation period, not 48 hours. So she did get back all the money for the second airbnb cabin we were going to stay in and the hotel did not charge her um for the for the night we were going to stay in on the way there um because we were going to take you know take a lazy trip going up there so we were gonna lazy trip halfway through the, there we were going to stop at a hotel um and then finish out the rest of the day going up to our cabin so it, it was going to take us two days to get there to lazily drive up there which is super nice because i hate just getting on the highway we we're going to take what's called the natchez trace which is a nice lazy sort of road to go almost all the way there and um so they were able to get that back so the only thing we were concerned about was this four day stay in this this cabin and like i said once Melissa explained the situation to her, that she broke her leg, the lady was super sympathetic, super kind, and said she would refund the rest of the money as soon as she got it. So, I mean, I kind of feel bad for the lady because with such a late notice, you know, like a, it's just not like she can re-rent it out to somebody else, so she's out money. Which I feel super bad for her, but yeah, super, 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 duper, duper bad. I mean, I was all, now me and the Cockney Biker could have gone on the trip all by ourselves, just the two of us, and and done the trip. Yeah, but we couldn't afford to buy them out. Well, it's not a matter of can't afford to buy them out or wouldn't buy them out, like, because they could have waited for us to pay them off little bits at a time or something like that. But melissa in her mind since this is her fault she wouldn't want us to pay her back just hey vacation on us which sucks because she you know we would have gone and did the four nights and then turn around and come home not do the other one 
you know, which still yeah. leaves her out half that 560 some odd dollars, which isn't fair that we go on a trip and she has to go have surgery on her leg. So no, I would much rather just reschedule this trip for next year after she's all good and ready and healthy again and then advise her a week before our trip do not get on your motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> she's probably not going to touch her whole bike for the entire year until we're ready to take <laughs> off but that's the thing though i don't know if it's ever happened to you you know <laughs> the company crew I, I don't know if you've ever had that happen but it sucks you know like a group of you all going to go out on vacation and one of you has to bail out because of an injury or something horrible happening I'm still taking the time off. You know, I just need the time off from work. Screw it, I don't care. I might go back a couple days early, but uh, just to, you know, get a couple extra days for later in the year. But for the most part, I, I've decided, I'm, I haven't even told my, my coworkers that I'm not going to be, um, that I'm not going on my trip. Yeah. So I haven't even told them. I'm like, you know what, screw it. I was like, I'm just going to do my, mo uh, you know, just, just take my vacation, basically a staycation. I would love for us to go and, uh, oh, we're going to get tugged. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. That cop is pulling out. Yeah, he's pulling out, but he's not, we're only doing 40. Yeah, but we were supposed to be doing 40 about a mile before that. Well, we'll find that in a moment. Well, I guess so. Anywho. The speed limit is 55 now. He's not in my mirror. Thank God I wasn't on the KTM Duke. <laughs> when he was, I don't know, he's like, I think he would have lit up his roof. <laughs> Slow down, biker. So anyways, like I said, we've been to the Tale of the Dragon three times before this. I am, the only reason we were excited to go on this trip was because we were going to go with our friends Tom and Melissa, and they've never gone to it before, and this would have been her first full-on big, huge ride. Not just, you know, down to the bottom of the state and one state over, you know, five, six hours yeah. away, but we're talking like a full-on two days away from where we live as the motorcycle goes because we're not iron butt challengers we ride about six hours and call it good for the day <laughs> um it's too old for all that my ass is too spongy and sore so... <laughs> oh. your daughter's calling me and i can't answer it uh, okay well that's what happens when you don't have the bluetooth connected to your phone i'm okay with that so anyways she'll call you Anyways, so basically what it comes down to is that we were only super excited about going on this trip because of them. Going without them, it wouldn't have been as much fun. Yes, I love spending time with my man. Yes, I love spending, you know, I love riding. At the same time, I was geared and mentally prepared for having the four of us going off having a good time. Me and Melissa zip lining over Pigeon Forge and stuff like that. Um, doing all the stuff that we didn't get to do before because the other people we were with were more about the ride than exploring the area and what it has to offer. And to be honest with you, you and I could have done it all by ourselves, honey, and it still wouldn't have been quite the same. No. Because we were bracing ourselves for a fun friend vacation. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I hate the idea of leaving, leaving her to, to just Tom having to take care of her all the, all the time and with her having <laughs> the, the surgery on Monday, you know, um, I'm worried about, about it because he, he doesn't get the type of vacation we get. He gets one paid vacation, one week paid vacation a year and the rest of any vacation he takes is non-paid. So of course he's going to go back to work as soon as her surgery's over, knowing fully well that I'll be there to take care of her. And that's what friends are supposed to do. Be there to take care of your friends. She would do it for me. Yeah, I know. And she'd have done it for me as well. So I'm not it's not her fault. The, this stuff no. happens and you know, hey, let's see if we can make some lemonades out of this 
batch of lemons that she has delivered upon us. I hope you enjoyed watching that video as much as I enjoyed putting it together. And if you did, do me a couple of favours. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. And uh, if you're new to this channel, there's a subscribe button down there. And there's a couple more videos hovering around here you can check out. This is the Cockney Biker. You take care of yourselves. And as always, laters.